Okay, so hello and welcome. My name is Marcus Campbell, and hopefully you guys can all see my screen. And today, in our first trial of our morning webinars, uh, we are looking to switch the time of our webinars from uh, afternoon webinars to the 11 o'clock to 12.30 time frame, which is good for most people's lunch um, and everything like that. And that way we can get the recordings out fast for you guys as well. So if you can hear me okay, please type something in the box. And we are going to get started right now with a special presentation about how to make money with non-buyer keywords that are super non-competitive. Now we know that uh, some of the problems that people have when they get into inter internet marketing is the big competition. You know, you get into a market, it looks good, and then Google all of a sudden slaps you with, hey, you need to pay, you know, five bucks a click, or you get a quality score, or you find out that there's so many other advertisers that no one can possibly make any money with this niche. All right, and a lot of times people get discouraged. And if you've ever gone out there and looked for a niche market, and you've been discouraged by the competition, type in discouraged in the box because what I wanna to do today is I wanna take away the myth of competition. And I wanted to say that again because I do believe the idea of competition is in fact a complete and utter myth, right? It seems like there's a lot of competition, but really what we're gonna show you is that it's not. Now, the presentation you're going to see is about non-buyer keywords, and what we're going to be talking about today is the flip the market method. The flip the market method is very important, and it is one of the biggest things that has to do with all of my successes online. All of this traffic you see here, all of this money that you see made looking at on the screen in front of you, right? you can see there's almost a million dollars just in that one account, and in that one account, all of those traffic methods were based on non-buyer keywords. Everything you see is based on keywords that other marketers wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Now, of course, after I started doing it, people started, you know, get catching on to it. But the fact of the matter is, is there is tons and tons of untargeted niche markets that are out there ready for you to get started with ready for you to start making money with, and they're very easy to get started with. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna show you how to do it, we're gonna get you some live examples, um, everything like that to where you can literally get started today. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and open up our AdWords Keyword Planner, and we will have our screen. So without any further ado, for those new, um, I am Marcus Campbell, and today, if you stick around for this entire webinar, you are going to learn four things, okay? The four things are, number one, you are going to learn exactly how I find killer profit non-competitive keywords in minutes, all right? That's number one. Number two, you're going to learn how to get search engine rankings in days, sometimes even in seconds, okay? It is true. Sometimes you can get these in less than a minute. I've had a, a top ranking on Google in less than a minute, and I'm going to show you how that works as well. Number three, you're going to learn how to pair those keywords and those rankings with high-paying affiliate offers, high-paying AdSense, high-paying things that put money in your pocket so that you can profit big time. Plus, as a bonus, number four, you are going to learn my flip the market technique to have huge AdSense paydays, huge affiliate paydays, and more. So if that sounds like a good trade-off for your little lunch hour here, for learning those things, then I really urge you to perk your ears up and pay close attention. Because for those that don't quite know me yet, my name is Marcus Campbell, and I started affiliate marketing back in early 2000. Yes, that is right. I've been at this 15 years. Um, I know I look like, you know, too young to be at this for 15 years, but I actually celebrated my 35th birthday last year. So I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So basically you're stuck with me. And if you stick with me, I think I can help you make some money. Now in 2006, to give you a little background of how this came about, after a friend of mine asked if I could tell his students about how I made over a million dollars that year with CPA marketing and other offers, I had never done this kind of stuff. I never taught it or anything like that. But his friend was a trainer and his friend bailed out and he said, okay, well, you know, I got all these people that are showing up on a, on a live training and I don't have a trainer. Can you help me out? So I said, sure, I'll help you out. And I went on there and I told everyone about how I was doing this market flipping, how I was doing simple sites. And at the end, 
I didn't know I was supposed to sell anything. Everyone was ready to buy something, right? And they said, I want to learn this stuff. I want to learn how to take these little niches and take these little sites and turn them into profit. And I enjoyed it. I really, really liked running my sites and making money as I do today. And I also enjoyed helping others profit as well. Right? For me, there's nothing like seeing you guys do really well based on the information that I give you. So now here we are, 2015. I've generated well over $5.5 million, uh, which isn't bad for a 35-year-old. Now, there's other people who make a lot more than me. Um, I choose to just kind of have a relaxed lifestyle and make what I think is good, um, and I'm happy at it. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to sit back. I want you to relax. I want you to follow along. And I want you to prepare right now to change your mindset about niche marketing. I want you to completely change your mindset about all this stuff that you've seen, all the offers, all the things. Because here is what they told me. The other marketers told me, Marcus, you can't make money with non-buyer keywords. Right? They said I had to go out there and go to Google and find a keyword like mortgage or buy Harley Davidson or buy a Toyota or you know uh, how much is shipping on this product or whatever. Right? And they said I couldn't make money with non-buyer keywords. But you see, I was sitting back silently laughing as I raked in over $70,000 in less than a year with a simple keyword about happy faces. Okay, this was something that the other marketers wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole, right? They looked at it, they saw that smiley faces got 823,000 search results, but they didn't know what to do with it. They said, you know, you can't make money with smiley faces. And you can see even today, if you were to search for this, right, in the Google Keyword Planner, you can go right in like this. The Google Keyword Planner shows us how many people search for certain things in Google. So if I type in something like smiley faces and hit the word get ideas, I can now see that even today, over 74,000 people are looking up the word smiley faces. So there's a lot of traffic here in this niche. And a lot of people didn't know what to do with this traffic. They didn't know how to monetize it or make money on it. And I'll never forget the day that I found this niche. I was working mostly on competitive words up until then, marketing things like mortgage quotes and payday loans and AdSense and things like that. Okay, and we look at this and we say, well, you know, you look at mortgage quotes. And if you go to Google and you search for something like mortgage quotes, you're going to see that there's a lot of advertisers, right? The advertisers are all these guys with a little ad by them and all the guys under this uh, right side column here. And there's a lot of people. Right? There's a lot of money there. They're saying, hey, you got to pay. Uh, if we did mortgage quotes, Google is saying that they want me to pay for this word $8.50 a click. That means that just to get one person to my site, that means that I would need to pay $8.50 just to get them to my site. That doesn't mean they're going to buy anything. It doesn't mean they're going to click anything. They can leave. They could do nothing. Right. And I still pay eight dollars and fifty cents. And that's what these advertisers are doing. And that's why this marketing thing seems competitive, because the words that have the good traffic seem to be very expensive. And the words like smiley faces with no competition, it doesn't seem like a money niche. Right. How many of you guys can relate to this? You say, Marcus, yeah, you know, I can go find keywords, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do with them if they're non-competitive. And even if. I get a competitive market, I mean, I would be needing to, I, I'd need to get $10,000 a lead in order to make that work, right? Because that basically means that for every 100 visitors you get to your site, you're going to be paying almost $1,000 and you haven't even made a dime yet. So you could see how this could be kind of daunting and I could see how you would be stressed and how you would say, well, Marcus, how does this work? Is there a way for a little guy like me to just get in there and start making money? And we look at that and we say, how can we do this? And what I want to do is I want to show you this method because I'll never forget the day that I found this. I was in these markets like you guys. Now, luckily at the time, I had a good search engine uh, ranking algorithm, which I'll show you today. And I was able to get some traffic, right? We were able to get some traffic. I was making good money. 
And the only reason I was able to enter those markets without paying a ton is because of these little tricks that I had. A friend of mine and I would stay up all night and rank these sites using expired domain names that had killer page rank in Google. So naturally, Google would pick us up, we'd get traffic and everything like that. It was basically like buying a domain name that someone didn't renew that had all the search engine juice. Okay, is everyone with me so far? If you are, let me know. And there we were in June of 2003 when I found this niche, and I stumbled across this niche about smiley faces. And I came across this niche using my trigger word method, which we're going to get into in a little bit. And the trigger word method guarantees that you will find niches that have no competition in seconds. Okay, I've used these on webinars. I've used them all over the place to find niches really, really, really fast. And it's part of the training in Simple Sites Big Profits. It's part of my core training. It's basically what I use to find niches over and over and over again. So instead of going in and using words like mortgage quotes or something like that, I would use something inconspicuous. I would use something like perhaps the word download. And I would see what people want to download. And my job would be to take these ones with low competition, like open office download, which has 11 cents a click, and ask myself, how can I make money on these 60,000 people a month looking for open office download, right? And my job would be completely different. Now, instead of trying to cram something down a throat of a market that doesn't want it, now I can go in to people who want what I have to offer share them helpful tips and make lots of money. And that's what this is all about. And there I was, and I found this niche using this, this trigger word method. I found that people wanted smiley faces and things like that. And other marketers came to me and they said, you know, Marcus, what are you going to sell? Like a happy face sticker or something, right? How many of you guys look at this and you say, well, Marcus, what would you sell? I mean, they're looking for happy faces. Obviously they want to download them or something like that. And so what I said is I said, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them smiley faces and I'm going to make money. You see, at the time back then, the CPA offers paid a lot less. But at that time, the CPA offer for smiley faces paid me 70 cents every time someone downloaded one of these little happy face toolbars. Right. These were the happy faces here. It's called Smiley Central. It still exists today. It's under a different name and they still pay today. It's like four bucks per download or something like that. And the toolbar was free for the user. Basically, they download a toolbar and they can use smiley faces on Skype and Instant Messenger or on MySpace and Facebook and all these things. Okay, and now every time someone downloaded this from my site, the company would pay me 70 cents. Okay, so now here I have this market with no competition. And here I have this offer that pays me 70 cents a click. So what I did was I set it up. I didn't put an opt-in box or anything. I just put smiley faces and I said, get these. And now these little happy smiley faces made me over $70,000 that year. Now I want you to imagine having a simple little three page website about happy faces, getting free traffic and making $70,000 a year. I mean, that's the kind of income that people go to college to earn. And here I was, it felt kind of weird, making money just automatically leading people to these smiley faces. And it was really, it was really fun because, you know, here I was getting huge checks, giving away smiley faces. Now, some of my other successful markets, which were based on the same kind of thing, are where I made over a million dollars. Now, the way that I found this keyword and niche is much different than other marketers. Now, a lot, a lot of other marketers, and I want to show you how this works, right? A lot of other marketers will go out and look for traffic based on the niche they want, mortgage, weight loss, or whatever. Now, before we go into my trigger word method and into uh, the whole idea of how this flipping market thing works, I want to point out the difference between a paid search result and a free search result. So what I've done here is I've highlighted the paid search results. So you could see if we do mortgage quotes on Google, you could see the ads up here and the ads across the side. So what I did is I made a screenshot so you could see what it looks like. Basically, everything in yellow is paid. Okay, they're paying for clicks. If I click any of these ads over here, this is what it looks like on Google, right? If I click any of these ads, they are paying money through Google AdWords. Okay, and they're paying for things like mortgage 
quotes or refinance or whatever it is and they're paying through the nose right so when you're poking around on Google and you're clicking on these ads someone's paying money okay I want you to remember that because a lot of people get stuck when it comes to actually realizing where the money comes from right you say well you know Google gets paid but where who pays Google I know it's advertisers but which advertisers why why would someone pay hundred dollars a click why would someone pay eight dollars a click well that's not our job our job is to figure out how to get the traffic that's worth the money so what we want to do is want to look at that and say well all the stuff in yellow is paid traffic now the stuff in white here these rankings are free traffic that means that the advertisers get them free but you can take a look at these and you could see that you're not going to compete with Bank of America and Zillow and Wikipedia and Quicken Loans and Wells Fargo. So the chances of you getting free traffic in this market are extremely slim. Okay, is everyone with me so far? Type in competitive if you see that this market is in fact competitive. Okay, so basically the guys in yellow are bidding, they're paying for traffic, the guys in the white are getting it free. So. What we want to do is we want to look at this and say, okay, well, here's the free rankings. I highlighted them in yellow and you can see that they are competitive. Now it might seem like the holy grail of marketing is to show up in the free results, collect commissions and rest on our laurels, but it's not always that easy. You see, because wherever obvious money is, there's a lot of competition, right? When someone does something and it makes a lot of money, they get copycats. All right, so what happens is when people figure out that the word refinance gets a lot of people to sign up for refinance loans, then all the refinance companies jump on and they try to get the rankings, which you could see there's about 130 million relevant sites for the word refinance. So if we were to go in this mortgage market, how many of you guys would say to me, Marcus, don't touch the mortgage market with a 10-foot pole. It's too competitive. You're going to get burnt out. You're not going to like it. It's not going to work, right? Because the odds of you beating out these huge companies like Bank of America and Zillow and all them are slim to nothing, okay? They have been up a while. They're not going to let you get in there. They're banks, okay? The bank has a lot of money. So most new marketers would try the paid results, okay? A new marketer would say, well, you know, Marcus, I go over to OfferVault where I find my special offers for CPA networks and I type in refinance. And I'm going to find the most expensive offer, okay, the one that pays me the most. So here we got low rate shop, $35 a lead. Refi okay, so low rate shop. Now I know that low rate shop is a proven converter, okay? I have made money with this exact same offer and I've made a lot. Okay, so we look at this, we say $35 and it converts on the third page. So they got to do these drop down boxes, they got to fill out some stuff. And then on the third page, when they hit submit, I get 35 bucks. Okay. So it's a big ass lead form, right? That means that they got to fill out a lot of stuff. They got to give personal info and I get 35 bucks. Now I get 35 bucks, which is good, but let's take a look here. Let's say that I get traffic for $5 a click, right? I'm down here. I go for mortgage quote. I get traffic for five bucks. I probably can't, but let's say I did. So that means if I took $5 a click and I got 100 people to my site, that would be $500 in traffic. So now I paid 500 bucks and I got these people to my site. Let, let's make this look more real to you, okay? And we're gonna use this example. Give me one second and I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to show up. Here we go. This is a new program I started using for you. So let's say that we have a keyword, okay? And our keyword is right like this. So we have a keyword and our keyword is mortgage quote, okay? Mortgage quote gets um, 1,600 searches a month. Okay, good. And it's $5 a click. So mortgage quote we have, and we're gonna put five bucks a click and we're going to put $500 for 100 clicks. Okay. Everyone with me? Can everyone see this screen? Okay. All right. So we pay for mortgage quote. 
Now, off of those people, what we do is we want to send these people to this offer, okay, where we get $35 per lead. Now, this is a three-page lead form. From my experience, I'm probably going to get, if I'm really good, maybe eight out of 100, but probably like six to eight out of 100, okay? So let's go here, and let's say we have our offer, mortgage offer, and if I get eight people times 35 bucks per lead, let's see what I'm going to make, okay? So eight times 35. That means I'm going to make $280. Okay. And that's if I do really, really, really good. Now, how many of you guys see the flaw in this example? How many of you guys see the issue here? <coughs> Basically, we just lost 220 bucks if we're a really good marketer. Okay. And if we can get the traffic cheap. So the problem here is we're losing money. So what we want to do is we want to look at this and we want to say to ourselves, well, what's the deal? How do we make this work in a way that makes sense, right? Because as you saw before, this market is way too competitive and very costly. And this is what makes internet marketing or search engine marketing very, very difficult. It usually goes like this. A marketer gets the idea that he wants to make money in a market that he sees other people making money in. Right, you guys all know the markets. No stranger to weight loss, dieting, um, you know, get your ex back, um, mortgages, things like that. Okay, so he goes in there and he says, "Well, I want to get in here and I want to do it." And he's totally blind to the fact that there are people who have been doing this for years and they have their rankings and numbers down to a science. But nevertheless, our poor marketer is told something like this: Number one, go try to find a good offer in a solid buyer market he can promote much like our low rate offer. It's a good offer. With the right traffic, you can make a fortune with this. But the question is, is where is the right traffic? I mean, literally, if you could get 10 of these a day, you're making a very healthy six-figure income, and that's not that many people, right? When you deal with numbers like we deal with on the internet, that's not a big number to hit. But the question is, is how do you hit that number without losing money? So he goes to Offer Vault or ClickBank, and he finds something to sell, like in the weight loss offer, right? He says, hey, this is a good offer. Okay, here's a ClickBank one. It's got a big gravity. It means people are selling it. Pays $43 a sale, which is pretty good. And he says, well, this is a pretty good product, and it converts well. But let me show you why the new marketer is going to have a hard time turning a profit. You see, number two, what he does is he goes to the AdWords tool, and he tries to find some keywords for his weight loss word. And because he's already looking in the weight loss niche, you see what happens is when I go to the keyword planner and I put something in like weight loss, I am completely limited to the weight loss market. That's it, I'm done. I'm competing with weight loss stuff. Weight loss, 256, eight bucks, 68 cents, six, uh, three, or 249, 312, right? There's a lot of competition here. Now, when you take this and you say, well, here he is, he's got these words that cost a lot of money, okay, and he's looking for subcategory words. So he would probably look at, well, maybe he'll use this word like 68 cents a click. Okay, it looks pretty good. But again, weight loss tips, they're not really buyers. They're not really looking to buy anything. So therefore, it's not going to be as targeted. So he goes out there and maybe he uses that. And as you can see here, these words are super competitive, high competition all the way down. And even after doing this for 15 years, I still wouldn't want to put the time and effort and money into ranking these sites because it's hard and it's discouraging and that's why you feel like you want to quit. Why? Because you might not even rank. And you see, I want words that I could rank for in a day or two, like in the beginning where I said, hey, you could rank in like a minute and see results fast. You see, he could even get fancy and check out the free competition and see what's out there. But at the end of the day, he's going to find out that there's too much competition. Even when he goes in and he does something, let's say he goes in and says weight loss tips. Maybe I could do this in quotes, isolate it and see what the real competition is. 
and he sees that it's still eight million and he's competing with health.com webmd right these are big big players that got lots of money that are ready to clean your clock with your testing all right so what we look at is we say well what do we do and unfortunately at this part the marketer or would-be marketer as it were gets discouraged if he pays google the insane price of 281 a click just like we did in our mortgage example the dude's gonna lose money he's not gonna be happy okay so here's what happens if he gets one out of 16 people to visit the site to buy he still loses money now if our new marketer is really really hard-headed he may even test it out and here's what it goes like the marketer goes out there tries to run some ads looks at some things he says i'm gonna get a hundred clicks right a hundred click test is a good test he gets a hundred clicks for 300 bucks and he makes one sale and gets like 43 bucks if he's lucky now at this point you could try to ramp up the conversions okay with fancy opt-ins and all these other things all right some of it works but in this market it's very difficult most people just end up losing money because the keyword is too broad too expensive doesn't tell a whole lot about your market and you would need at least a thousand dollars commission to make this work and if he knows better than going for free traffic he's aware that trying to beat 427,000 results overnight is not going to be easy how many of you guys up until this point can say that you've been where this guy is you've been there you've found niches that look good but at the end of the day the numbers didn't stack up and that's why you need help that's why it's struggling because there's so many people going after so many things and there seems to be no room less left for the little guy you see he'd be lucky to get that ranking after three months of hard work and even then there's no guarantee of profits rankings or sustainable income then comes the info overload the frustration and many give up and say hey this internet marketing thing is way too hard for a new person to get in it's way too competitive now let's see what happens when our friend uses marcus campbell's trigger word method for finding and profiting from non-buyer keywords in non-obvious markets you see most marketers are lazy and don't know how to profit from non-buyer keywords but it's actually extremely easy and we're going to go through it and we're going to show you how it worked with the smileys again as well now instead of going after an obvious market right after uh, instead of going after the obvious market or a highly competitive keyword what i do is i use a list of trigger words a trigger word as you could see if you were to go into your simple sites big profits desktop okay we have our trigger words you just go in like this i'll show you how it works real quick and then at the end of this call we can get you guys a copy of one of my trigger word list if i can remember my password okay so basically what you do is you go into your simple sites big profits right like this you go into niche finding and then you're going to have your trigger word list right here now what's going to happen is when you use these trigger words okay you use a word like calories or download or something without a market attached so what we're doing is we're just going in blindly saying what do people search for for example the word download does not tell us what kind of market the word is in it just simply tells us how many people search for the term that are related to the word download i.e they want to download something so basically what's happening is you're seeing the search intent right up off the bat right this is where the search intent comes in if you can figure out the search intent which is aka why is someone searching for this using these trigger words you can make a little fortune like i have for example let's take a keyword like calorie okay if we go to our google planner and we type in calorie right like this hit get ideas you're going to notice that simply all of our competition starts to disappear and our traffic is very 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 cheap now what we want to do is we want to say to ourselves we have like how many calories should i eat how many calories in a day etc low competition we can get this traffic for pennies on the dollar but the question is is what do we do with it first we take a look at all the low competition words much better than the other weight loss how many of you guys agree that you would rather pay like pennies than like eight bucks a click right if you could get traffic in the same market for pennies rather than 10 bucks a click or whatever 
you can make money, obviously, because there's a gap, right? When we're dealing with the word arbitrage, that's where you find a gap in the marketplace. It's a gap between people who have something to sell and people who want it, and they, they're not meeting, right? They're not meeting. These calorie guys, they want to lose weight. That's the only reason you'd really want to look up calories is to lose weight, get fit, exercise, whatever. It's the same exact market. If I can get you guys today to see that calories is the same market as weight loss, I have done my job and you can go make money, right? Very important. Same thing with the mortgage market. And when we do this, what's going to happen is we have low competition words, and this is much better than the other weight loss ones, where everyone is clawing and fighting to get the scraps of people wanting to quote unquote lose weight. And just think of the search engine intent of someone looking for weight loss programs, right? They got their arms folded and they're saying, what are you going to do for me? How are you going to help me? They know they're one click away from your competitor who's probably better, faster, cheaper, stronger, whatever, right? They're judging you. They're looking at you and they're sizing you up, looking at every result before they buy. Fighting over these words to me is absurd. Why would I fight in all those markets when I can go after something like how many calories in a banana? Become an expert about it, right? I now become an expert about calories in a banana. Learn about everything. Right? Teach them how to weigh the banana. Teach them how to look at the banana. Teach them what the benefits of the banana are. Teach them how to make smoothies with the banana. Right? Do it so much to where you are tired of the damn word banana because you are educating them and you're going to make money. So here's the results in free traffic. How many calories in a banana? 65,000 results. Not too bad. Right? That's a lot better than our other word that had 427,000 results. Now, when we use our timeout method, we could see that the actual competition is only 147 searches or um, only 147 results. And when we look on the free traffic, right, if we do how many calories in a banana, and you can see Google suggests it, right? So we have how many calories in a banana and there's no one bidding on it, right? There are no paid ads. Okay, and when we do the timeout method, basically what we're doing is we start regular, 3.7 million results. Then we go to quotes. When we do it in quotes, it isolates the phrase, which shows us there's 43,000 results. And then when we do our timeout method, what we do is we do it in quotes, scroll to the bottom, and I'll just make this bigger for you. Scroll to the bottom, click next, keep scrolling to the bottom, and hit 10, go to 14, and you go until it stops, okay? And it'll, it'll stop, which is called timeout. And when it times out, you'll see it says page 16 of 146 results. Now we know that the exact match, like the real amount of competition here is only 146, right? How many of you guys look at that and you say, that's way better than dealing with weight loss or, um, you know, lose weight? Okay, and we look at that and we say, well, you know, I might not get as many people to buy. Like if I get 100 clicks, I might not get 10 people to buy or three people to buy or even one person to buy. But my traffic is a lot cheaper and I can offer more stuff, right? So my traffic's a lot cheaper and I can buy more stuff. So we look at this and I hope, is this starting to make sense to everyone? If it is, say yes, type it in the box. Say, yeah, this is making sense to me. I, I'm getting this. Right now, I get the idea that calories in a banana is basically people looking to lose weight and everything like that. Okay, they just don't know it yet. Okay, much like the people looking for, um, you know, bench press exercises could benefit from a personal trainer. It's the same market. Okay, and if I can teach you this, then you can do really well. And if it's starting to make sense right now, then it's going to start to make sense later and you'll be able to make it work. So basically, with a little work, we could rank on the free side. And for about five cents a click, we can get paid traffic almost instantly. And we could probably even make a stupid YouTube video about calories in a banana and rank like within minutes. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, James says, so you would offer something like a banana smoothie book. No, not necessarily. We could have that as a supplement, but our main offer needs to be a direct hit. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. What we need to do is we need to put our biggest offer up front. Okay, like a recipe toolbar, perhaps a um, healthy weight loss toolbar, 
perhaps um, you know put your name and email for something. Okay, we want to get as many of these banana guys as possible so we can put them. So basically, with a little work, we could rank on the free stuff for five cents a click. We could probably get paid traffic instantly. And since we know the intent of this person is to count calories, we can pretty much guess they want to lose weight and be healthy and everything like that, which is the same intent the other guys are fighting over and paying through the nose to get. All right, so we look at that and we say, that's great. Okay, and we want to say to ourselves that our new marketer now can get in there and make it work. Okay, he can get in there and make it work. So now all our marketer has to do is make a little blog about, with some content about his banana and calories and everything like that. Put some related ads, some tools um, and links. Person can use related to counting calories and losing weight and bada bing, he's in business. Uh, Tony says, why can't you rank in the free? You can, yeah. With a little work, you can rank on the free side. Five cents a click, you can go paid. Okay, I would, I would say do both, right? If you can get five cent traffic and make money, why not buy it? Why not do both? So now all our marketer has to do is give them things related to counting calories and losing weight and bada bing, he's in business. Now our marketer can skate into this totally non-competitive market, grab a ton of free traffic or cheap traffic and make some money. Now at this point, you may be asking how you could get paid to give things away in this market. How do you get paid? I'm gonna go over that in a little bit. And before I, wanna, before I go over that, how many of you guys remember when you used to get the Sunday paper and there'd be like a little packet of cereal or Advil or like a packet of shampoo or something that you'd get free, right? Does anyone else remember that? Okay, and you'd get the newspaper and you get these little shampoos and things and you try them out. And now I want to ask you something. How much money do you think those people pay to make the packet, to put the advertising, to pay the newspaper, to pay the paper boy to put it in there, right? There's millions of dollars at stake to give you a free sample, hoping that you will buy something. Okay, very, very, very important, much like these guys. Okay, whenever you ask yourself, well, do people really pay you to give stuff away? Well, these guys are paying, if you go into like refinance, right? These guys are paying per click. They don't get an email. They don't get a nothing. They get a click for $32. So they're willing to pay 32 bucks just for a click. I ought to be able to make money giving things away or from them. And we'll, we'll show you how to do that as well. Much like the example of the refinance thing, right? We were getting $35 for a lead. They weren't even buying anything. Okay, so we look at this and we want to go into that. So first I want to recap and show you what it looks like. First, we want to throw the idea of buyer keywords and products out the window. Take the idea in your mind of buyer keywords and products and markets, throw it out the window. Because all I care about is what people are searching for and how I can use it to make money, which is why I use my trigger words. Here's a small example of trigger words. Uh, calculate, right? And you'll notice when you put these in the keyword tool, watch the competition on these guys. Calculate, low competition, lots of traffic, right? Calculator, we'll do change, right? Low competition, and there we go, low competition. Look at all these low competition words, right? Much better than typing in mortgage, changing, cheap, right? Cheap, you want buyer words? They're, use the word cheap, that'll work for you. If they're looking for cheap, they're looking to buy it. I had a um, site back a couple years ago that sold gas-powered scooters, and the keyword we used was gas-powered scooters for cheap. The whole phrase, we were making 16 grand a month in scooter sales just off that one word, right? Had I gone for gas-powered scooters, I would, have, I would have been drowned in the comp, uh, competition. I wouldn't have sold anything. Here's one for codes, right? All the different codes people want. And on and on we go. So this list of trigger words will give you insight into many markets and easy ways to profit online with simple, non-competitive search traffic. It's very simple. Number two. You could use my, the rest of my trigger word list at the end of this report to locate niches. And I want you to not try to go into what you can sell just yet. What I want you to do is I want you to be curious. I want you to just pop in a trigger word, 
like convert, learn, find, fastest ways, times, etc., and watch the magic happen. For example, if I use the word convert, right? We have MP3 converter, currency exchange converter, money converter, convert PDF to Word, video converter, all these words here. And as you can see, low competition. So now we have some pretty different, decent keywords about converting files. The one I like is convert MP3, right? That's got decent traffic. You can see here, a lot of traffic and they're looking to convert MP3s. How many of you guys have ever looked to convert MP3s? I do all the time because I'm a junkie for listening to talks and I download them from YouTube as MP3s, put them in my phone and I can listen to talks all the time. And I, I paid money for an MP3 converter and if there was a free one, I would have gotten that too. Okay, so there is money in these markets. You just have to listen to the old Marcus to be able to find it. So good traffic, low competition. So our next step is to use the Google BS detector. Okay, the BS detector says, well, is this traffic really 41 cents a click? We do this by searching Google. We type in MP3 converter. And we see what's going on. Okay, no one bidding. So no one bidding means that the Google BS detector worked. This is actually like a penny on the dollar click. Now you could go into further market research using your Simple Sites desktop. If you were to click on Power Search, type in MP3 converter, hit go, and then you can go to pay-per-click competition and you could see all the ins and outs of what it really costs to get in on this word, okay? Right like this. It'll give you an exact result. It'll show you all the ads. There's no ads here. So this is like pennies on the dollar. Okay, so now all we got to do is say, well, what does this market want? What does this market want? You can see why Simple Sites is a great tool to have. If you don't have it, get it. That's all I got to say about it. All right, so uh, basically we use the BS detector. We could get this for five cents a click, 10 cents a click. There's no ads, right? You see no ads over here. So since we have no ads in the market, we can go for we can get this traffic dirt cheap. How many of you guys are like, this traffic looks cheap. It looks great. If I could get paid for this traffic, I'm in business, right? Type in business if you think this is a good market, if we can find an offer for it, okay? And you might be saying, well, Marcus, what do we sell? I mean, this isn't a buyer market. They want to download MP3s. That's it. They don't want to pay for anything. Number, number four. First, we want to plan on selling nothing. You see, if you can help your market first and see if there's affiliate offers that pay you for helping them, you can make money. You can go to Offer Vault and use your word, right? Go to Offer Vault, and instead of typing in something like um, search term mortgage, we're going to type in convert. Or we could type in MP3, right? MP3. And here we go. Um, we have, let's see, we're going to go down to cheaper stuff because we want something free. So we have free audio converter. So there's something that converts MP3s, right? How many of you guys look at this and say, well, they want to convert MP3s. I'll bet I could give away this toolbar and make a buck 63 every time I give it away. And out of these 80 some odd thousand people looking it up, I ought to be able to give away like 20 of them a day, right? That'd be 50 bucks a day or something, 30 bucks a day. Okay, so now we have something like that. You could see here in my search, we even had a $2 one, right? So if I get traffic for five cents, all I need to do is get more than one out of 40 to download the converter, which they want anyway. Now out of my research, I have found that I could usually get like one out of 10, sometimes even more. So if I got one out of 10, that means I'm spending two bucks and I'm making eight bucks. How many of you guys would do that all day long and every day on Sunday if you could spend two and make eight? Of course you would, right? You'd be silly not to. All right, that's better than like the stock market. Okay, because <laughs> you're making it daily. Okay, so Offer Vault's basically a search engine that shows you all the offers and everything like that. And that's all it is, is saying, here's this thing, here's this traffic, here's a thing, here's a traffic. That's what I want to show you how to do. Now, I want to check this out. We have the all-in-one convert toolbar. It also does uh, MP3 converters, pays $2.25 a download, and on and on we go. Okay, so now if we get one out of every 10 to 15 visitors to our site to download, we are making money. How many of you guys can see it that simple? 
All right, it's like, okay, all I got to do is get them to download it. It's free, okay? And that's all I got to do. So number five, all we got to do is find a good traffic method. For this one, I'm going to go for paid traffic. I mean, why fight it? Right? Why fight it? Let's get some traffic instantly. I could even do a YouTube video about how to convert an MP3. There's probably something up here anyway. Okay? Very simple. So we just make it happen. We make it easy. Number six, now all we got to do is make some content. Right? A lot of people say, well, Marcus, what content do I put? Well, you teach them how to download MP3s. That's all you do. Show them some free programs. Show them some paid programs. Show them some downloads. Whatever. Right? Put some AdSense on there. Now, I want you to realize that all of this has happened using our trigger words to find low competition and focusing on what the searcher wants in the first place. In fact, before I started this report and this webinar, I was trying to fix an old PDF report and search for PDF to Word converter. Okay, same kind of thing. Guys, this stuff works. You could do it in markets like this with toolbars. You could do it in markets with AdSense. Very, very, very cool. Now, I realize that this is a shortcut webinar and I didn't focus on the exact how-to of building the sites and getting traffic because we'd be here till like Friday, okay? But we gotta sleep and eat and stuff like that. But this is a prime example of how it works and I want you to get the concept first. So I gotta ask you, after watching this webinar, is this starting to make more sense, right? Are you starting to see how you can get paid for helping people find what they want rather than doing like other marketers and cramming your message down their throats. Guys, it is simple. Even if you were to go into something like I've gone in and used mortgage calculator or something like um, hardship letter, okay? You have stuff like hardship letter. These people are in financial trouble and they want hardship letter examples, okay? This is the same exact market, financial hardship letter. Go to Google, look for who's searching for it. It's the same exact market as something like refinance. Okay, if they refinance, they could probably keep their house. They just don't know it yet. How many of you guys can see that? All right, nine times out of 10, the bank will work with you. Okay, so it's the same thing. So you can take this word. There's no one bidding, right? You can flip them into a site. All you got to do is build a simple site about refinance or foreclosure options or whatever, and bada bing, bada bang, you got them into expensive clicks. And because of the Google AdSense program, you wouldn't even need to use an affiliate offer. You wouldn't need to sell anything. All you have to do is get them to click. This is the same thing I did in the mortgage calculator market where I took these clicks and got them for 30 cents and I was making $1,700 a day just in AdSense off of these simple little words. Right? I wasn't selling anything. I wasn't getting people to fill out forms. I wasn't doing any leads, nothing, just clicks. Very, very cool. So we look at this and we say this method, using this method, we don't need a fancy website or blog. You don't need a huge competitive market. And most importantly, you don't even have to be good at selling, right? So that's the basics of how this works. Right. So basically what you're doing is you're finding the market. Now, there's lots of other things that I teach uh, with my market flipper method. OK, one of them is the glossary method. This works like a charm. I've used it to make millions of dollars in really easy markets. Um, I've used it to get lots of YouTube traffic, used it to get lots of free traffic and on and on we go. So if you like this method, if this method makes sense to you, I'm going to make an offer that you can't refuse. OK, it's going to be simple. If you've never before been in any of my courses, congratulations, this is your chance. If you've been in lots of courses, congratulations, this is a, a very inexpensive way to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to marketflipper.com. What I'm going to do is I am bringing this training up to speed. You see, in 2013, I went through the Market Flipper training. And since then, some things have changed and I need to update the training. And what I want to do is I want to update it with you live on the call. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to marketflipper.com right now. What you're going to get, you'll see the bonuses here. You're going to get Market Flipper webinars. These are brand new webinars we are starting to give you the ins and outs of how this works. I'm going to show you how to find the markets. I'm going to show you how to add AdSense. I'm going to show you how not to get your AdSense account banned. I'm going to show you how to get the huge paying AdSense. I'm going to show you how to make it all work. 
right? There's going to be four webinars. Usually I charge like a hundred bucks each. I just put a $97 value on there just to put something up there. Next, you're going to get my info arbitrage training. You're going to get this instantly. So if you say, Marcus, I love this. I can't get enough. You go in there. You can watch this right now. You're also going to get my personal templates and themes that I use with this method. Okay, so you're going to get the templates and themes with this method. You're going to get my How to Profit with AdSense 2015 videos. You're also going to get my Market Flipper CPA marketing videos and three premium WordPress plugins. Now, if you bought all these separate from me, it'd be 525 bucks. But today, because I'm absolutely insane and I want you guys to get this stuff, right? I want you to, to make sense of it. What I'm doing is we are adding some even more better bonuses. Number one, if you join today, I'm going to show you how to make this course better than free by showing you how to get over 150 bucks worth of paid traffic, right? Pretty crazy. Okay. You're also going to get the trigger word list and everything like that. So also we're going to give you a $227 value, 30 minute consultation. That means when you go through this training and you find your niche, I will give you a free 30 minute consult on your niche to help you get started. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at marketflipper.com. I'm going to put this in your chat box and I want everyone to click it right now. Okay, because when you see the price, you just, you're going to go sign up. You're not even going to wait. You're going to go there. You're going to fill out this form right like this. And you're going to see that it's only 47 bucks to get started, right? That means that we, I mean, you can, it's like a dollar per bonus if you put it that way, right? So we're going to guarantee you that you are going to get the information you need to start a market flipper business. And I want you to think of the upside and look at this, right? Think of the upside and ask yourself. With this training, do you think that you can make at least 47 bucks, right? How many of you guys think that you could set up a site, probably get one click a week and make 47 bucks off this thing over a year? Of course you could, right? That means that this course is pretty much free, even if you do a half-ass one blog setup, right? And not only that, but you're getting the 227 worth of the uh, consultation and 150 bucks in paid traffic all for just $47. Now, you guys know I don't sell cheap stuff. So you're gonna wanna get in right now because we are closing this, okay? You gotta get in. We're doing live trainings, okay? So what we're doing is we need everyone to sign up right now. This course starts right now, okay? So you're gonna go in, you're gonna get your downloads, you're gonna get your tools, you're gonna start going through it, okay? What I'm doing, I am going to be uh, gone for a couple of days. We won't be doing webinars for a couple of days. But what you're going to do is you're going to go through all those tools. I want you to get refreshed, okay? And then when we do our live webinars, I want you to have all your questions ready, everything ready. So guys, this, this is absolutely unheard of. All you got to do is say, well, could I absolutely half-ass it? Not even half-ass, like 1% like ass, right? If you can, then you need to sign up because it's basically free, right? Basically, if you go through it and you say, well, you know what, if I do one-tenth of an ass, right, I'll be making a lot of money. If I do this, if I go in it and I do it full force, I can make a living. So what I want you to do is I want you guys to sign up right now. If you have questions, let me know. Um, there's not a whole lot of questions because, guys, this is the price of, like, lunch. Okay, so if you took your wife to lunch, your husband to lunch, your kids to lunch, you're going to spend 47 bucks by the time you pay a tip anyway. So you might as well learn how to make a living online, right? Get yourself the gift that keeps on giving, the thing that's going to work for you, and sign up. It's 47 bucks. If you can't make this decision, then I, I don't know what else I can help you with, right? Because this is absolutely just brain dead simple. It's like right now you're going to go in there and you're already going to be 103 bucks ahead of the game because you're going to get free traffic coupons, Right, so you get you get free traffic for signing up. You get a free 30 minute, hey, your niche sucks, or hey, your niche is good. That's worth its weight in gold, right? We got niches that are crazy, like niches like the cost of gold or the price of gold, where you flip to markets that are paying like 25 bucks a click, 50 bucks a click, some of them even more. So guys, this is an absolute no brainer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide for you today. Okay, I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna say, you know what? You've been on my webinars. It's time to take action. And we're not even asking you to take some huge action and pay, you know, 5,000 bucks or whatever. Just 
47 bucks. Can you trust me enough on the little bit for me to take you further? Right, if you can, if you could start small, you say, Marcus, I realize you're not asking me to dive in and get wet right now. I, I, I realize that this literally can take 15 minutes a day, right? If I give you 15 minutes a day and I just start on this thing, I am going to make my first dollar online, right? And I guarantee you, if you follow this, you'll make your first dollar online, right? You, you'll finally say, there it is, right? I did this work. Here it is in my account. So for those of you that said, you know what? This makes sense. I'm ready to go. Guys, go sign up. Okay, cool. A lot of questions coming in. I was too busy job owning. Okay. This is different from any other program. This is a standalone. It is not part of Simple Sites. It's not part of the old Market Flipper. This is brand new. Okay, so if you're in Simple Sites, you definitely want this. If you're not in any of my courses, this is a great place to start. Um, so everyone needs this. Okay, how many webinars on the course? We are starting with five. We will probably end up going eight. Okay, so literally they're like five bucks each. Okay, and James says he was in the old Flipper course. If you were in the old Flipper course, you know the value of this. That one sold out literally overnight. Um, I mean, it was just crazy. And I think it was even more money than this. Okay. Um, no, this does not come with Simple Sites. This is separate. Um, I realize that you did get Simple Sites, and I, I do appreciate that. This is a separate live course. Um, we do have the old Flipper Market stuff in Simple Sites, but you want to be on this one too. You know, for 47 bucks, I mean, just just do it. You know, it it's worth it. Okay, um, Barbara. Yes, with the with the websites that we're building, we are working on them. Uh, the webinars are going to start, I believe. We are starting June 3rd or June 5th. I would have to check my calendar, but that's when the actual live courses start. I want to give you guys about a week to go through everything and learn with the old course and then we're going to bring it up to speed live. Okay, so for anyone who's gone through the market flipping, guys, it's a no-brainer. Literally, when you're dealing with these markets, I mean, it doesn't take that much traffic to get this thing going. Okay? Okay, cool. So any other questions, let me know. Again, everyone should be getting signed up right now. Um, there really is no excuse to not join this course. Um, so, yeah. Will it work for the graphic design niche? Yes, this works with any traffic. Um, you can use this with graphic design. You can use this with whatever you want. And it's very simple. Like when you do graphic design or something, um, you can use something like how I use hosting, like start a blog. Okay, start a blog is low competition, right? Like this. Um, how to start blogging, 2,400 searches a month. Now, when you're dealing with these words, you don't need that much traffic. So like a couple of clicks a day works. And I'll show you some results. Just sit with me one second. So how to start blogging. This is a real live niche that I use right now. Okay, this niche, you could see there's not a lot of competition. Okay, three people bidding here. Not a whole lot here. Okay, so it's cheap. You can get this traffic for 30 cents. Now, you might say, well, how to start blogging? What do I sell them? Well, what you do is you take this cheap traffic and you sell them web hosting because you need web hosting to have a blog. How many of you guys can put two and two together like that? If you can, you need to sign up because that's what we're doing. All right, now you got $15 clicks. Now, guys, this is exactly, this is exactly what I'm doing with one of my sites. Now, this is a simple little site that I set up in February. So just to show you how this works, right? I set up this site in February and I'm gonna log in. Hopefully I remember my password, yeah. Okay, so I set it up in February. I'm gonna show you how it looks. So here we are this month, we got $1,105 in commissions. Only had 13 signups, right? That's not a lot, okay? Um, Vanessa, hit me up on live chat. If anyone has trouble ordering, um, just say it in the ticket. That way I could save your spot and we'll work out the logistics later. Okay, so $1,105 commission. How many of you guys, if you saw that in from one of your sites, you'd be happy. You'd be like, dude, I paid 47 bucks and now I'm learning how to make $1,100 a month just on one simple site, right? And I want to show you how this looks. Back in February, I started this site on February 19th. Okay, so the first month, February 19th, to February 28th, the last day of February, 
we made 320 bucks the first month. All right, the next month, I didn't do a whole lot to it. I just kind of, you know, messed around, added a few things. Okay, we did 510 bucks. Pretty cool, not too bad for the second month. The next month, we did uh, May, it was May, yeah. February, April, May, yeah, okay. So May, right, look at this. Guys, there is this site, this simple site from the time I started it till now. So I started it on the 19th till now. I made almost $3,000 off one simple little example. And that's three months. That's an average of $1,000 a month, right? You look at that and you say, well, how'd you do it? Well, I did it by taking these people who were looking for starting a blog and putting them to web hosting. So if this makes sense to you, if you could say, Mark, that totally makes sense. I get it. That makes sense. It's like they're looking for it anyway, right? If that makes sense to you, what I want you to do is I want you to go to marketflipper.com right i know a lot of you guys are on the page right now and you're on the fence and you're saying marcus i want to do this it sounds cool it looks good what i'm saying is start small start small with me right now say marcus i'm going to start small i want to set up a little site show me how to do it and we're going to show you how to do it so i'm going to give you guys 15 minutes to sign up it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes to decide you either say you know what i'm willing to risk what would cost the price of a lunch or probably less than I pay on cable TV every month to make a difference in my life. Because that site example you just showed me, if I did that, right, that's like a 60 times return on investment in three months. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get that. I don't know what your results are be. They might be more. Some people have gone on and made more than I have off of what I've taught them. But what I am saying is get started and I'll show you how to make it work. So don't second guess yourself. Go through the course, make it work. If you have any questions, hit me up. Um, if you're new to Simple Sites and you just want to say hi or whatever it is, get in there. Say, Marcus, I'm, I'm going to do this. this is, it makes sense, right? And if you ever watch Judge Judy, if it makes sense, it's, it's true, right? <laughs> if it doesn't make sense, then it's probably not true. So I want you to get in there and I want you to sign up now. I don't want you to overthink it. I don't want you to mess around. Don't miss this opportunity. Trust me on it. Don't miss the opportunity. By the time you go through this, you're going to say, Marcus, holy cow, that was 47 bucks. This is better than some thousand dollar courses I've gone through. So get in now, sign up. Don't overthink it. Marketflipper.com. You got 10 minutes. Thanks again for listening. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to get the replay up. It was a short webinar, but I'm hoping that it was power packed. And I'm hoping that what you saw now, if you could say, Marcus, if that's a little taste of what's coming, I'm in like crazy. And if that's you and you're on this page right here, right, you're sitting here and you're like, okay, well, I got my name. I put my name, my last name, my email, my phone, my address. I realize it's a 128-bit secure form and I'm ready to go, but something's stopping me. What I want you to do is I want you to put your initials, right? Put your initials in here, fill out the rest of it, click the button, right? Sign up, say, Marcus, I'm going to start small. We're going to make money. And that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to make money. You got 10 minutes. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you in the next call.